What's up, everybody? Welcome back, your subscriber. If you're new, welcome. So today, guys, we will quickly look at the NFT market. Uh, some uh, NFT projects right now are absolutely mooning. Uh, it's just mind blowing how much they've gone up. I mean, you look at the Board Ape Yacht Club right now. The floor price is 115 ETH. Absolutely crazy. 115 ETH. Uh, I don't even know how much that is in dollar amount. So let me see here. 115 ETH floor price. So this is the cheapest ape right now. Uh, so right now you can see that that is almost three. That's pretty pretty much three hundred thousand dollars. So it kind of looks like um, the dollar amount with the board apes is kind of holding its value. Um, but since ETH has gone down so much in price, is that the ETH value in terms uh, the ETH value for these board apes are, have gone up, right? But even though the dollar amount is still relatively the same, so that, that's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. I mean, if we look at ETH right now, it's trading around. Uh, 2,500, just a little bit over 2,500. Uh, we did have a little bit of green greenness last week for the weekly candle. And uh, what else here? Bitcoin. Uh, yeah, Bitcoin also had a little of a green weekly candle last week as well, which just closed like an hour ago uh, uh, during the time of me making this video. Um, but oh yeah, some of you guys are asking, why am I wearing a green headband? So if you guys follow tennis, I am a big Rafael Nadal fan. He just won his 21st Grand Slam uh, tournament. Um, so putting himself in front of Roger Federer. Roger Federer has 20. And Novak, uh, Novak Djokovic, who also has 20. Uh, it was very unfortunate Novak couldn't play in this tournament because I would love to see Nadal versus Djokovic in the final. Um, but uh, Nadal came up on top. He came back from two sets down. And uh, it was a great comeback. Great comeback victory for him. What's really crazy is that I actually uh, never really liked Nadal. I mean, at the very beginning, I did not like Nadal. Because I was more of a Roger Federer fan. And every time their Federer and Nadal would play, it seemed like Nadal would always beat Federer. And it would just it just pissed me off. But as I started to like play tennis myself, I found myself playing the kind of uh, same style as Nadal, where it's more power and uh, along the baseline. So I ended up getting uh, his one of his Babolat rackets. And I also got some of his shoes. And now uh, I actually have one of his headbands. <laughs> but I've actually had this headband for the last uh, three years. So... Uh, I've had this headband before he started wearing it at the Australian Open, so... So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. But anyways, I like this headband, and I just like green. And hopefully, you guys like green too, because we want to see some more green candles uh, on the Bitcoin and the Ethereum chart. <laughs> but I'm also wearing red, so uh, it's kind of like balancing it out right now. Probably this is like a, like a, an in, like a, a foreshadowing of more sideway action to, to come. Uh, for the crypto markets. Maybe. I don't know. For some odd reason, the I just decided to wear this red hoodie and a green headband. So I'm not sure what that means. Uh, so Azuki, which is like an anime-based um, NFT uh, project. It seems like a lot of these anime uh, NFT projects are actually taking off right now. Azuki, I remember uh, looking at these guys when they were around like 2.5 ETH. It's insane how much they have increased. Uh, in the last uh, two weeks or so. I mean, they're up to 9.45 ETH. You can definitely see how it was down here around two something ETH. And now we're all the way up to nine ETH here. So that is crazy. Uh, what other projects uh, projects here? We have Board Ape Yacht Club, which we talked about at the beginning here. 115 ETH, insane. It looks like, yeah, it's relatively just maintaining its dollar amount. Uh, Clone X, which is owned by... Uh, which is an artifact uh, project that's now owned by Nike. Um, man, this thing was around 6 ETH or something at one point. Now it's up to 14.4 ETH. Insane. Absolutely crazy. Um, what else do we have here? CryptoPunks. It doesn't really list the floor price here. Okay, here's one heartbreaking story for me. <laughs> so Mutant 8 Yacht Club. I remember I had the, cho the chance... Uh, to get a Mutant 8 Yacht Club at around 3.72 ETH. I remember the floor, looking at the floor price of the Mutant 8 Yacht Club, um, I was debating whether... Um, I had like the, the DYDX airdrop, right? And I sold it into ETH, and I had about 3 3.75 ETH uh, worth of DYDX tokens um, that I converted to ETH. And I was debating whether I wanted to put it into NFTs, right? And uh, what happened was I actually, uh, at that time, I decided to put it into what I thought was hot at the time. It, it was kind of, it was considered hot at the time. 
and that was the the rare pepes so i decided to put like around 3.75 eth into this, like um a collection like certain uh rare pepes but uh it turned out like the rare pepes um have been kind of struggling lately <laughs> the trend I i'm sure rare pepes are going to do well in the long term and that's why i'm still holding on to mine but had I invested, you know, that 3.75 ETH into the uh, into buying a, a floor price Mutant 8 Yacht Club NFT, right? And I held on to it, it would be 24.5 ETH right now, which is crazy. So the Cool Cats right now are at 15 ETH. So with Cool Cats, um, they, uh, if I could remember, I don't think it ever actually reached 15 ETH floor price back in the, uh, the September Mania phase that we had with NFTs. So... Um, to see Cool Cats at 15 ETH, it's not a big surprise to me. So, um, because seeing how Bored Apes have just absolutely just up, just kept on going up, uh, it's not a big surprise. I do want to see maybe Cool Cats go up to 20 ETH. Possibly, I'm hoping. I'm crossing my fingers it goes to 20 ETH. Uh, but that's uh, that's that, that's promising. And also with Cool Cats, if you guys aren't aware, if you guys are Cool Cat holders, um, you will be able to mint their Cool Pets NFT that's coming out tomorrow. Um, so if you have a cool cat, then you can claim a free cool cats or sorry, cool pets NFT. Um, if you are on the allow list, then you are able to mint a cool pets NFT for 0.5 ETH. And there, there's going to be some leftover uh, for the public sale as well. But uh, don't bank on the fact that you will be able to mint any of these if you don't have a, a spot in the allow list, um, because uh, it's going to be crazy. I mean, it's going to probably sell out very quickly and probably the gas fees would be ridiculously high, right? Um, Oh yeah, since I'm wearing this green headband, I, I I also forgot about the Australian Open NFT. Australian Open Art Ball. Wow, it's dropped down so much. <laughs> I remember uh, it was like at 0.3 ETH at some po at one point. Now it's down to 0 0.07. I guess people uh, either there's not many uh, tennis fans in the crypto space. Or, uh, you know, people just didn't want to hold on to it. And there was a lot of traders and flippers in this uh, in this market. And they're just basically selling it off. Um, yeah, I'm still holding on to mine. It seems like uh, some people are buying the... You know, it actually went down to 0 0.05. Wow, some people bought it at 0 0.05. Um, actually, in some ways, I'm not too surprised that it's dumped. Because since the tournament is over, I'm not sure... Uh, if it's going to increase in value anytime soon. So, um, yeah, I don't see this thing um, moving anytime soon unless they have some other additional utility for it. Um, but, I mean, the idea is cool. I mean, it's great to see a, a sporting event uh, getting into the metaverse. Um, so, but also the other thing is I'm, o I'm okay holding on to this because I also minted this at 0 0.06 ETH since I had a, a, a meta key, right? So no, no worries. Now, if you got in uh, around 0.3, then yeah, that kind of sucks. That really sucks. But that's the other thing with the NFT marketplace. Uh, the NFT uh, market uh, that I've noticed recently is that a lot of people are just jumping into projects and then just moving on to the next project. So, I mean, people are not really holding on to some of these new projects that are, um, that are releasing uh, recently. Uh, that's what I find. But meanwhile, projects like Bored Apes, uh, Cool Cats, uh, I think Doodles is also doing pretty well as well. Doodles is up to, I think, 14 ETH is what I saw. Uh, Doodles, yeah, 14.15 ETH. So, I mean, crazy. I mean, some of these NFTs, I wish I, wish I actually um, bought into them. But at the same time, it's very hard. Because when I looked at Doodles back when it was around 1, 2 ETH, I, was, I just... I was like, I just wasn't really, I mean, some people like this kind of art, but at that time, I just wasn't really drawn to it. <laughs> I just wasn't really drawn to this kind of art. Um, but uh, had I known that, you know, the uh, the artist behind this, uh, Burnt Toast, was a very popular artist, had I did the research, I would have probably bought one. Um, but that's just due to my ignorance, I would say, that I missed out on doodles. Um, and what else? There's some other NFT projects that are doing very... Uh, a lot of the uh, woman-based NFT projects are actually doing well as well. Ava Longoria, she actually purchased one of these Crypto Chicks NFT. So you can see that. And she's not NFT verified. Ava, there is a feature on Twitter Blue that allows you to verify your NFT. So maybe get your social media person that's behind your account to do that. So we can see that you actually have a, 
crypto chicks nft <laughs> but crypto chicks i will talk about the eververse i do know that they have been doing very well shout out to my eververse homies out there uh but crypto chicks oh this is another nft project that i uh, that i knew about back in september and i was so close to buying it at around like 0.1 eth and the thing just kept on pumping up to like 0.4 ETH, and by that point, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to buy it. But now you see it's up to like 2.56 ETH. Um, but uh, it seems like Ava Longoria, there's other uh, celebrities that are buying it. Uh, seems like Crypto Chicks is the uh, the thing that's popular right now. Ooh, look at that volume. That's a lot of volume right there. And people are still buying them. 7 minutes, 11 minutes, 14 minutes. Oh, yeah. Nice volume. What else? Cool cats we talked about. Cyber Kongs is up to 11.47 ETH. Uh, Cyber, Kong, uh, Cyber Kongs VX is 3.19 ETH. So yeah, a lot of these... Oh, World of Women's up to 9.43 ETH. That's insane. So you can see, guys, there's a lot of NFT projects right now. Deadfellas is up to 4.46 ETH. This thing was like at two something, two point two and a half ETH, like maybe just a couple of weeks ago. It's doubled up in price, uh, in ETH value. That is, I guess a lot of it is has to do with Ethereum going down in value. So I mean, Ethereum has definitely uh, dropped in value. Uh, so a lot of these NFT projects are basically kind of maintaining their dollar amount. Uh, so in, in order to maintain their dollar amount, the the ETH value has to go up, right? Like their their uh, their price in terms of ETH has gone up just to balance it out. If you understand what I'm saying, because since the price of ETH and dollar amount has gone down, um, in order to maintain the same dollar amount uh, for these NFT projects, the uh, since it's priced in ETH, the price of ETH in these NFT projects has to go up, right? So. Uh, so we, we, we already know that we know that when the crypto market is bearish or in some sort of a downtrend or kind of stable that a lot of these NFTs are going to start running uh, in terms of their Ethereum value. Um, so, yeah, which is great because remember what my strategy is. It's basically to stack up as much ETH as possible in these NFT bull runs. Right um now the only unfortunate thing with these nfts is that a lot of these nfts are so expensive that i know a lot of you guys can't afford them right so um it, it, so it kind of makes me kind of reluctant to talk about these uh, projects because i know some of you guys can't afford uh 14 eth 15 eth or even when dead fellas for instance was like at two and a half eth i mean that's over uh, that's over five thousand dollars, right? I mean, so that's a lot of money to some of you guys that are new to the space, and you guys can't afford that. And then on top of that, with the Ethereum gas fees. But the other thing is, um, some of these new projects that are coming out, I don't find them doing that. I mean, they do well after release, right? But I mean, I'm finding it to be like a trader's market where people are just jumping in, pump the price because there's some NFT influencers out there that are just talking about these projects, right? And then people just pile in. And then, you know, people take out profits and they just jump onto the next project. So a lot of these newer NFT projects, they're just pumping and they're just dumping. Um, pump and dump, really. I mean, one example is this one here, Mecca, Mecca Apes. I mean, I remember I did jump into this around point, point 0.2 ETH. And then I, I took profits at 0.45 ETH. But then I remember at one point, it actually went up to like 1.48 ETH. And now you can see how much it's dropped, right? It's dropped down to 0.18 E. So this is the danger of some of these newer NFT projects that are, that uh, just came out recently, is that some of these NFT influencers on YouTube are just talking about and pumping it up. And I see some of them having so many views, right? Um, so there's definitely a lot of demand. There's a lot of eyeballs there. People just pile in, just pump up the price. And then they just take profits. And then the NFT influencer talks about other projects and they just hop on and just you know the whole cycle just repeats itself right so a lot of these nft projects i'm picking on these guys because this is a perfect example of this thing happening right now is that uh it pumps up like i said I, i've gotten in around 0.2 eth i decided to take profits at 2x right got my money out at 0.45 eth and then it just kept going to up to like 1.48 eth and i was like whoa that's insane uh, but now you see it's down so much 0.18 eth and you can see that pump and dump so 
This is why I kind of don't like it. I mean, I have some people that are coming up to me that want to get into this NFT space. And I, it's hard for me to say what to invest in, right? Because a lot of these uh, blue chip NFTs, sorry, this is my watch list. A lot of these blue chip NFTs are so expensive. Even for me, I can't afford 115 ETH for a Board Ape Yacht Club. Even uh, a, a Clone X, if I wanted to buy it, I mean, I got to sell a lot of my altcoins just to get 14.4 ETH there. Um, and then a Mutant 8 Yacht Club, I totally missed the boat on that. And at that time, I could have bought one for like 3.72 ETH, right? Uh, which ETH was a little bit higher at that point. 3.72 ETH, I think it's around maybe $9,000, $10,000 at that time. So even if you came into NFTs back then, right, if you want to buy a Mutant 8 Yacht Club for that much, you had to fork out like $10,000. So I don't know. It's it's hard. It's really, really hard. If you're new to NFTs right now, I can't really guide you on what to buy because a lot of the ones that are doing well, they've been around for at least several months, right? But some of these newer ones, uh they're just basically a lot of them are just pump and dumps it's i hate to say that <laughs> i hate to say that uh now the other option is you can try and grind your way into getting like a whitelist spot on some of these nft projects i'm not a big expert on that i don't try to do that kind of stuff uh there are some youtube influencers that do talk about that stuff so i highly recommend you maybe you look out for those uh take advice from those guys uh, but me my strategy has always been to, I'm don't I mean, I've been trying to like trade the NFT market recently, and I've been getting more losses than wins, to be honest with you guys. Um, so I've always been the kind of guy who likes to research projects, and then I, if I like it, then I just buy and I just hold on to it. Like for instance, my pet hooligans, right? Like when I found out about who was behind them, uh, the 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 background of the team members that are behind the project it just blew me away so um i got into this project around 0.4 eth and i was willing to like around yeah around 0.4 eth and i was willing to hold on to it uh so right now it's up to like 1.338 eth and it has been kind of quiet recently but uh with what's coming up with this project i do believe it's going to be worth a lot more right i mean initially I got in around mid-December. It's rode up to this point here. Now it's just been trading sideways. Uh, a project that has been very quiet recently is the Doge Pound. The Doge Pound. The Doge Pound right now is at two, a little bit over two ETH. But really, these guys have been quiet. Um, I remember getting another Doge Pound at around 3.7 ETH floor price. Uh, because I was really confident in what the Doge Pound would be doing in the long term. And I'm I'm still comfortable holding on to these guys, you know? And in fact, if you go to their Twitter page right now, they actually are hinting at something big coming up. Uh, basically, I'm trying to pump the Doge Pound price here, guys. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> uh, but let's see here. What's this? Uh, they just, yeah, looking at the thin floor knowing we haven't even released any big news yet. So this is from Doge Pound Studios themselves. So, hey, I I have my Doge Pounds. I have my Doges. I'm ready for to go up to, to the moon. Pump it up, yo. All right, so the Eververse. This is a project that uh, I have been talking for months, for months. And I thought, I know for the longest time, I knew this project is a sleeping giant. And I will do a more dedicated video about the Eververse later on. Uh, in the future but i just want to give a shout out to my eververse homies out there because i tweeted this out and definitely got a lot of hits and retweets um to my standards i mean it's probably very little to some of you guys but um but uh yeah a lot of you guys like this post uh, those that are in the eververse community but i tweeted out patience is starting to finally pay off stuck through it when the floor price went down to around 0.03 eth Glad to see this game getting the recognition it deserves. So the floor price right now for the Eververse is, I just saw it was around close to 0.3 ETH, right? 0.278 or something. Wow, 0.289. So yeah, close to 0 .3, e uh, 0 0.3 ETH. Uh, so like I said, I minted some Eververse NFTs, first arrival NFTs at around 0.1 ETH. Then it went all the way down to like 0 0.03 ETH. I was willing to buy it up at around 0 0.03 between 0 0.03 to 0 0.06 uh 
Um, but yeah, I mean, look at all that. I mean, it's definitely, uh, I mean, yeah, from 0.03, if you manage to grab some at that price point, you're up almost a 10x right there. So I highly recommend, guys, with the Eververse, download it on Steam, play the game. Um, the hoverboard game is absolutely fun. Even for me, as not like a big time gamer, I love playing the Eververse. In fact, I'm addicted to leveling up my hoverboard right now. It's up to like a level seven. So, um, in my last gameplay video, if you look at my, uh, uh, my video from last week, um, or earlier this week, depending on when you watch this video, uh, just look at the Eververse gameplay thumbnail. Uh, but yeah, that just, it just shows you the, the gameplay, the graphics in the game and how fun it is. Um, now in that video, like my best time was around one minute and 40 something seconds. I've been, I've been able to cut that down to like the minute and 20 second range. So, uh, I'm actually getting better guys. So all you guys in the Eververse, watch out for TD crypto. I mean, he might zoom past you guys in the Eververse. Okay. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I think I'll leave the video with that. I just wanted to do an NFT market update. Um, so like I said, Right now, it's unfortunate if you're new to NFTs and you want to get into the NFT marketplace right now, a lot of these blue chip NFTs are just gone up so much in price. And it's even hard for me to tell some of the people that I know in real life and what to buy. It kind of makes sense now if you want to pool together, like uh, like maybe you know a few of your friends together and just buy an NFT and just share it amongst yourself. I am actually might consider doing that with some of the people that I know in my real life Um where uh, we might just pull together some money and just buy some sandbox land, just you know, just sit on it for the next few years. Uh, it's kind of like buying land in Manhattan back in the 1800s, you know, that cliche that we hear all the time. But yeah, we are still early in NFT space. If you have the conviction and the belief that we are still early, then why not buy some of this stuff, hold on to it. Don't have to worry about the you know the the price action of the volatility of these some of these NFT assets because a lot of these NFTs. Even these blue chips are going to go down 50, 60, 75%. And if you're okay holding on to it, like the Cool Cats, for instance, I saw it go up from like two, uh, like uh, when I got in around 0 0.7, 0 0.8 ETH, it went up all the way to two ETH, went back, back down to one, then from one ETH to two ETH, and then all the way up to seven ETH, and then it traced back down to three ETH, and then from three ETH, it went all the way up to 14 ETH, and then from 14 ETH, it went down to five ETH, and now from five ETH, it's gone back up to 15 ETH. So, that was a mouthful, but what I'm trying to say is NFTs are super volatile. If you guys are up right now, if you guys are lucky enough to be investing in NFTs back a few months ago with some of these NFTs are gone up like, you know, three, four, five, six X, take some profits, guys, because even Elio Trades has said this. That NFTs may enter euphoria in February. Make sure you stay liquid and cover your initial buys if you're up big, okay? JPEGs can go to zero. Please be careful, okay? So Guys, like I said, take profits. Don't be afraid to be, uh, be able to take profits. Do not be attached to your NFTs. Even my cool cats, you know, like my cool cat that I have in my Twitter profile pa uh, page or picture. I mean, if it goes up significant from here, I might consider selling it and maybe buy back in. Like, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I might sell my cool cat if it goes up uh, to a certain price point that I have in my mind. And... Uh, you know, when NFT bear market hip ha happens, then I'll use that to buy back in. Uh, you know, so I mean, don't be attached to your bags, guys. Do not feel ashamed. Do not follow the philosophy of diamond hands. Sometimes you got to look after yourself. You're making a lot of money that's life changing to you. You got to take it, man. If you don't take the money, someone else in this market will. Okay, keep that in mind. Anyways, guys, if you guys like the video, like the video. Um, if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time.